Live from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. A scorching hot day sending people to the beach and the fun interrupted by pain after several people were stung by stingrays. We have team coverage of the heat and the hurt tonight. Let's start with our 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo live in Coronado where many didn't know about the dangers when getting into the water. And all of the people I spoke to say they felt something smooth or gooey before they were stung. Many of them from out of town told me they had no idea about the shuffle to avoid getting hurt. With the sun. Just say one. That's it, that's it. Come the sting race. It feels like fire, like my foot is on fire and it hurts so bad. Alexis Anduho visiting from the Inland Empire was one of the many stung along Coronado's shore on Tuesday. One of the cars came to me and there was, it was all filled up. There was about three or four people inside already. Lifeguards setting up hot water buckets for everyone, driving them to their tower every few minutes. Many from out of town not aware of how to avoid those creatures that rest on the ocean floor. I didn't know anything about a stingray shuffle. I definitely would have used the stingray shuffle. Lifeguards say 10 to 15 people were stung in a matter of hours, despite trying to tell visitors about the risk before getting in. A little bit unusual, yeah. This was a pretty good spike that we got. Also flying a purple flag that means stingrays or jellyfish could be in the water. Avoid walking on the bottom if they can, just swim, and if they have to walk on the bottom to shuffle their feet. To relieve the pain, hot water, as hot as you can take it without burning yourself. A pain these visitors won't soon forget. This is definitely some of the worst pain I've felt. And lifeguards say the water temperature was in the mid 60s today, which is about the temperature where jellyfish and stingway would be present in the water. Again, to avoid getting stung, sh shuffle your feet as you enter the water. Reporting live in Coronado, Laura Acevedo, 10 News.